It's very easy to forget how good the Audi A4 has been and for how long. The most recent generation has been around since 2009 and that does perhaps make that car's exterior styling seem a bit familiar. Then there's the all-wheel drive system, once an Audi specialty but now very common among luxury sedans. Yet when you really get down to it however, the 2015 Audi A4 still has an impressively well-balanced portfolio of attributes important to a compact luxury sports sedan. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now as far as styling goes on the vehicle, I quite like the styling a lot and I think it has aged pretty well since it came out in the 2009 model year and it still looks pretty good when you compare it to some other luxury sports sedans. But you do have the nice trendy LED daytime running lights and then projectors too and then Audi started the trend of LED daytime running lights. And then you also do have these pretty good looking 19 inch wheels with a nice titanium finish which do give the A4 a much more premium and rich appearance here. And we do have the S line of the A4 here. Now here goes the key fob for the vehicle. I really do love the key fob for the A4. Very premium looking and also a pretty premium feel too. It doesn't feel cheap. But you do have your lock to release your trunk, unlock and then your panic button. And you have your Audi logo right here. Now it is a white exterior with smart key access on all four doors with a full gray leather interior. Of course you have your power driver seat with power recline and power lumbar. Now a leather interior does come standard on the A4 which on many of its competitors are actually optional like the Mercedes-Benz C-Class as well as the BMW 3 Series. Now stepping on inside of the vehicle here, it's actually decently roomy I have to say. And it's pretty low to the ground. This is a sports sedan of course. But you're greeted with a pretty stylish and high quality looking cabin here. Now to start the A4 you have two ways to start it essentially. You can insert the key here and then push it in but you have to have your foot on the brake or you can hit the button to start I'm actually gonna hit the button to start and what you're hearing is a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder now coming to your transmission you have the optional 8 speed automatic Tiptronic with manual shiftability now your standard transmission is actually going to be a CVT automatic or you can opt for a 6 speed manual on the A4. Putting the vehicle into reverse of course displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. And the mirrors do tilt down when you put the vehicle into reverse and as you can hear the rear parking sensors are going off. You also do have an electronic parking brake as well. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic in the A4 and let's go ahead and pop the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators and you also do have blind spot monitoring. your S-Line trim badging. High intensity discharge headlights with halogen fog lights and like I said earlier in the video you do have LED daytime running lights. I really do love Audi's trapezoidal grille. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Now under the hood here you have a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder powertrain producing 220 horses at 4450 rpm and 258 pound feet of torque at 1500 rpm with EPA estimates being 21 in the city and 30 on the highway. Now when you actually do get the C 
CVT automatic, the fuel economy numbers will actually boost up just a little. Now since this 2 liter 4 cylinder only has 220 horses, that's less than the BMW 328i for example, but with 258 pound-feet of low-end torque on tap, the A4 has no trouble getting away from stoplights or passing slower highway traffic. Now essentially there is a higher performance model called the S4, but that is much more expensive than the regular A4 we have here. Now trims of the A4 start at the premium model which starts at $35,500. Then you have the premium plus which starts at $37,600. The prestige which starts at $42,900. And then you have the option of all wheel drive. Now competitors of the A4 are the vehicles in the entry level luxury sports sedan class. You have the Cadillac ATS, BMW 3 Series, Lexus IS, maybe even the Acura TLX might be a worthy competitor, and also the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. full LED tail lamps and like I said you do have rear parking sensors LED turn signal indicators and a rear window defroster now EPA estimates like I said are 21 in the city and 30 on the highway the total vehicle price for this particular one is $47,755. Of course, nice soft touch armrest, nice and soft to the touch on the mid door panel and upper door panel too. Power door locks, power exterior mirrors, and then your power windows and memory seat settings for two people. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Now as far as build quality and materials go inside of the A4 here, build quality and materials are pretty good overall. Now there are no panel gaps or anything of that nature, it's an Audi here. And everything is very well put together, it has that German solidity that you want. And then also the materials, nothing is really overly padded in this car, that's what I am noticing. And then there's also not a lot of stitching going on in this car. The only stitching you'll find is on the seats and then on the center console lid as well. And usually cars nowadays have stitching everywhere, but the Audi keeps it pretty traditional inside of here. But like I said, nothing's really overly padded. It just feels um, very well put together. Like up here, it's actually kind of hard, but it has a very nice graining to it, but it's not really super soft to the touch. Up here, it's actually pretty soft to the touch, I have to say, but overall, build quality and materials are excellent inside of this A4 here. Now, coming down here, you have your controls for your Audi MMI interface, which I'll get to in just a second. Right here, you have your cup holders, little storage cubby right there, and then coming to the center console, pretty small, I have to say, but you do have a 12-volt power outlet. Coming up there, you have an auto dimming rearview mirror, of course, and then your integrated compass sunglass container, your interior illumination lighting, and then your sunroof with your sunroof controls. 
and then a manual sliding shade and then you also do have your garage home link right here now I also do love this black headliner that does come on the sports package if you opt for one now coming to the steering wheel I really do love this steering wheel in the A4 you have this nice flat bottom design very sporty and then also it has a pretty nice feel in your hands very thick steering wheel rim here nice grip to it and then also I just really love the three spoke design here really sporty looking now coming over here you have your controls for your little center screen right there which I would get more in depth later in the video and then coming right here you have your voice recognition steering wheel mounted audio controls and then your nav button and then located on the back of the steering wheel I forgot to mention that you do have paddle shifters for the manual shift ability and then coming down there is where you'll find your manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel now coming to the center stack controls here pretty easy to use overall once you get used to it you have your heated seats right here pretty self explanatory and then your dial for your dual zone automatic climate control your temperature is right here and then when you click on the fan button you can change the fan speeds by the dials and then when you click on the zones you can change the different zones by the dials too right there is where you find your front window defroster and then your rear window defroster and then right there is where you'll also find your traction control off button. Now coming right here is where you'll find your different slots for your SD cards and then your SIM card and then your optical disk drivers right there and they call it Audi Multimedia. Now like I said earlier in the video these are your controls for your Audi MMI interface. Now to select what you want just click down on this button right here and then also you can scroll just like this pretty easy to do coming to your menu this pretty much reveals everything from your car, your telephone, various amounts of information, navigation, media, radio, and then your tone. Now let's go to car. Now this brings up Audi Drive Select. Now you can also bring up this menu if you just want to push on Drive Select. But basically you could change different steering modes. You have dynamic, automatic, and then comfort. An individual and then also everything is separated separated into four main corners you have your owner's manual right there and then your car systems and then you can set for individual let's go to comfort and then it also shows you right here up on this little screen what mode you're going into and then coming to car systems you can change your driver assistance settings, AC, servicing and checks, and then vehicle settings like your exterior lighting, central locking, garage door opener, and various amounts of things. Now let's get back to the main menu here. Coming to your telephone, you have Bluetooth phone hands free calling. And going to your settings have your Wi-Fi settings, data connection, Bluetooth, and telephone settings. And coming to info, that shows you like your traffic incidents, and then you have your Audi Connect, which is allows you to access various things through your smartphone data connection. Coming to settings, you can turn the traffic report on or off. And then you can read it aloud if you want. US 50 eastbound 1 Avenue in both directions. Traffic lights working incorrectly. And let's get back to the main menu. Let's get a navigation. Now, coming to your navigation system, it's pretty clear, easy to read. The rendering is decent quality. Um, you have your live traffic right there, too. But this doesn't have Audi's new technology where you can enter in the destination by the touchpad that you will find on higher end models of Audi's lineup. But overall it's pretty functional, however I wish it was a little bit bigger. Now 
Now coming to your media, your different media sources include your jukebox, SD card slot, DVD, Bluetooth streaming audio, and then your auxiliary input. Then coming to your radio, of course you have AM, FM, and satellite radio too. Then coming to tone, you can change many different settings for your sound, like your treble, your bass, and your balance of fader. And you also do have the Bang and Olufsen sound system on this vehicle. So overall, it's pretty easy to use the Audi MMI interface once you get used to it. The rendering is decent quality, and I just wish they would make the system just a little bit bigger, but overall, it's pretty easy to use. Now as far as the seats go inside of the A4 here, very comfortable, very well supportive, lots of lumbar support and lots of side bolstering. Now also, you do have on the driver and the front passenger, you have the manual thigh extension. But overall, they're very comfortable, and I would love to go around twisty canyon roads inside of this vehicle here, and they'll hold you in place. Now, as far as visibility goes inside of this vehicle here, visibility is excellent. Lots of glass area all around. Outward visibility is also pretty good, too. And seeing out of the back is also very easy. But rearward visibility is excellent, and a lot of cars nowadays have sloping roof lines and things of that nature, but the A4 keeps it pretty conservative here. Now with the sports package, you also do get this unique interior styling detail, which it does spice up the ambiance in this interior here, and it does give it a much more sporting flair. And then it's also on the door panels too. Now what the A4's turbocharged four-cylinder lacks in sonic personality, it certainly makes up for pleasant, punchy performance. It can still pin you to your seat when you put the gas pedal to the floor, and it offers ample torque for quick bursts of acceleration and highway merges. In standard form, the A4 is only slightly biased towards sporty and provides a pretty comfortable ride quality. Yet when the road bends, the A4 still feels pretty balanced, secure, and athletic. Opting for the all-wheel drive further enhances the A4's capabilities and driver confidence, not to mention its stability in wet weather. More performance-minded drivers might consider the optional Sport and Sport Plus packages like how we have here, although these do come at the expense of a much harsher wide quality. Now coming to your gauges, the font of them are very clear and easy to read, very bold too, and I love them a lot. Now coming to your little center screen right there, that's basically going to show you a little bit of vehicle information here, like your fuel range, your trip odometer, and what gear you're in, and then you can select your radio station from there too. Then you have a digital speedometer, then if you have a telephone connected. And basically it's a little mini Audi MMI interface. All right. And let's go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. One great feature is that the A4's trunk does open up all the way for you. So you don't have to lift it up yourself all the way. Now these rear seats do fold down 60-40 split. Decent amount of cargo capacity, but not the best I've seen. But it's on par with the rest of the class. Now build quality and materials do follow through in the rear of course. Now sitting back here, it's actually decently sized for a luxury sports sedan. You have your rear air vents back there, dual map pockets, and then a 12 volt power outlet. Then a rear center armrest with cup holders. and storage too. Overall it's fairly comfortable back here and the seats are pretty supportive. 
full powered passenger seat with power recline and power lumbar. Glove box compartment, nice and damped and lined with felt. Alrighty. Now there are certainly plenty of choices for small luxury sports sedans, but the A4's sophisticated blend of attributes makes it very hard to beat. So remember that this is Camera Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews. Garage door opener and various amounts of things. Now let's get back to the main menu here. Coming to your telephone, you have Bluetooth, phone, hands-free calling. And going to your settings, you have your Wi-Fi settings, data connection, Bluetooth, and telephone settings. And coming to info, that shows you like your traffic incidents. And then you have your Audi Connect, which is, allows you to access various things through your smartphone data connection. Coming to settings, you can turn the traffic report on or off. And then you can read it aloud if you want. US 50 eastbound 1 Avenue in both directions. Traffic lights working incorrectly. And let's get back to the main menu. Let's get a navigation. Now coming to your navigation system, it's pretty clear, easy to read. The rendering is decent quality. Um, you have your live traffic right there too. But this doesn't have Audi's new technology where you can enter in the destination by the touchpad that you will find on higher end models of Audi's lineup. And then your dial for your dual zone automatic climate control, your temperature is right here, and then when you click on the fan button, you can change the fan speeds by the dials, and then when you click on the zones, you can change the different zones by the dials too. Right there is where you'll find your front window defroster, and then your rear window defroster. And then right there is where you'll also find your traction control off button. Now coming right here is where you'll find your different slots for your SD cards and then your SIM card and then your optical disk drivers right there and they call it Audi Multimedia. Now like I said earlier in the video these are your controls for your Audi MMI interface. Now to select what you want just click down on this button right here and then also you can scroll just like this pretty easy to do. Coming to your menu this pretty much reveals everything from your car, your telephone, various amounts of information, navigation, media, radio, and then your tone. Now let's go to car. Now this brings up Audi Drive Select. Now you can also bring up this menu if you just want to push on Drive Select. But basically you can change different steering modes. You have dynamic, automatic, and then comfort, and then individual. And then also everything is separated separated now coming right here is where you'll find your different slots for your SD cards and then your SIM card and then your optical disk drivers right there and they call it Audi multimedia now like I said earlier in the video these are your controls for your Audi MMI interface now to select what you want just click down on this button right here and then also you can scroll just like this pretty easy to do coming to your menu this pretty much reveals everything from your car, your telephone, various amounts of information, navigation, media, radio, and then your tone. Now let's go to car. Now this brings up Audi Drive Select. Now you can also bring up this menu if you just want to push on Drive Select. But basically you can change different steering modes. You have dynamic, automatic, and then comfort, and then individual. And then also everything is separated separated into four main corners. You have your owner's manual right there and then your car systems and then you can set for individual. Let's go to comfort and then it also shows you right here up on this little screen what mode you're going into. 
and then coming to car systems you can change your driver assistant settings AC servicing pad that you will find on higher end models of Audi's lineup but overall it's pretty functional however I wish it was a little bit bigger now coming to your media your different media sources include your jukebox, SD card slot, DVD, Bluetooth streaming audio, and then your auxiliary input. Then coming to your radio, of course you have AM, FM, and satellite radio too. Then coming to tone, you can change many different settings for your sound, like your treble, your bass, and your balance of fader. And you also do have the Bang and Olufsen sound system on this vehicle. So overall, it's pretty easy to use the Audi MMI interface once you get used to it. The rendering is decent quality. And I just wish they would make the system just a little bit bigger. But overall, it's pretty easy to use. Now as far as the seats go inside of the A4 here, very comfortable, very well supportive. Lots of lumbar support and lots of side bolstering. Now also, you do have on the drive. Basically, it's a little mini Audi MMI interface. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. One great feature is that the A4's trunk does open up all the way for you. So you don't have to lift it up yourself all the way. Now these rear seats do fold down 60-40 split. Decent amount of cargo capacity but not the best I've seen. But it's on par with the rest of the class. Now build quality and materials do follow through in the rear of course. Now sitting back here, it's actually decently sized for a luxury sports sedan. You have your rear air vents back there, dual map pockets, and then a 12 volt power outlet. Then a rear center armrest with cup holders and storage too. Overall, it's fairly comfortable back here, and the seats are pretty supportive. full powered passenger seat with power recline. Pretty stylish and high quality looking cabin here. Now to start the A4 you have two ways to start it essentially. You can insert the key here and then push it in but you have to have your foot on the brake or you can hit the button to start. I'm actually going to hit the button to start. And what you're hearing is a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. Now coming to your transmission you have the optional 8 speed automatic Tiptronic with manual shiftability. Now your standard transmission is actually going to be a CVT automatic or you can opt for a 6 speed manual on the A4. Putting the vehicle into reverse of course displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory and the mirrors do tilt down when you put the vehicle into reverse and as you can hear the rear parking sensors are going off. You also do have an electronic parking brake as well. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic in the A4 and let's go ahead and pop the hood and check out the engine bay. You can scroll just like this, pretty easy to do. Coming to your menu, this pretty much reveals everything from your car, your telephone, various amounts of information, navigation, media, radio, and then your tone. Now let's go to car. Now this brings up Audi Drive Select. Now you can also 
bring up this menu if you just want to push on drive select. But basically you could change different steering modes. You have dynamic, automatic, and then comfort, and individual. And then also everything is separated, separated into four main corners. You have your owner's manual right there, and then your car systems, and then you could set for individual. Let's go to comfort. And then it also shows you right here, up on this little screen, what mode you're going into. And then coming to car systems, you can change your driver assistance settings, AC, servicing and checks, and then vehicle settings, like your exterior lighting, central locking, garage door opener, and various amounts of things. Now let's get back to the main menu here. Coming to your telephone, you have Bluetooth phone, hands-free calling. And going to your setting, and they call it Audi Multimedia. Now like I said earlier in the video, these are your controls for your Audi MMI interface. Now to select what you want, just click down on this button right here. And then also, you can scroll just like this, pretty easy to do. Coming to your menu, this pretty much reveals everything from your car, your telephone, various amounts of information, navigation, media, radio, and then your tone. Now let's go to car. Now this brings up Audi Drive Select. Now you can also bring up this menu if you just want to push on Drive Select. But basically you could change different steering modes. You have dynamic, automatic, and then comfort, and individual. And then also everything is separated separated into four main corners. You have your owner's manual right there and then your car systems and then you could set for individual. Let's go to comfort and then it also shows you right here up on this little screen what mode you're going into. And then coming to car systems you can change your driver assistance settings, AC, servicing and checks and then vehicle settings like your exterior lighting, central locking, garage door opener and various amounts of things. You also do have an electronic parking brake as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic in the A4 and let's go ahead and pop the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. And you also do have blind spot monitoring. Your S-Line trim badging. High intensity discharge headlights with halogen fog lights and like I said earlier in the video you do have LED daytime running lights. I really do love Audi's trapezoidal grill. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Now under the hood here you have a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder powertrain producing 220 horses at 4450 rpm and 258 pound feet of torque at 1500 RPM with EPA estimates being 21 in the city and 30 on the highway. Now when you actually do get the CVT automatic, the fuel economy numbers well.